Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Uh, today we're going to be doing part one of a two-part build. The first part we're going to build is the German 15 centimeter field howitzer from Trumpeter. And then the second part of the video will be the 8 ton half track from Dragon to tow it. So let's get started on it. <laughs>
I've, I've completed up assembly right here. I did it mostly off camera because there were so many tiny little parts everywhere that just would have been really, really difficult to film. But I mean, it's something that you'll definitely be able to do. One thing I want to point out to you too is when you go to actually build these pieces right here, the instructions aren't very clear about how much you're supposed to put on them. And I actually glued them into place, but and that left the gun too far down. So what I went ahead and did is I broke it apart and then added another little piece of tubing to the bottom, and that elevates the gun more. So for in transport mode, the gun won't be dragging or close to bouncing on the ground as well. We also left off, like I told you earlier, the poles that we're going to paint red and white, and we'll slip those in separately on the other side. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to paint the entire thing German gray and then we're going to do a desert yellow over it and kind of and using the hairspray technique kind of beat it up a little bit. We also plan on building the dragon uh, eight ton half track for pulling it and we'll probably be doing it in the North Africa Actually, not probably. We will be doing it in the North Africa marking, so this will be like a double, double build. So let's get started on the painting. And what I've done right here is I've taken off the rubber off the back wheels, making it a little easier to paint. And the front here, I actually went and glued them because it was going to be easier to put the two halves of the wheel together. Uh, you probably could have done that afterward, but what I just chose to do is just go ahead and mask it off. And we'll get a little bit of overspray on the side wheels, but that will be easy to come off. What we're going to do is we're going to spray the entire model with XF63 German Gray. We're not going to put the NATO black on it because the German Gray is already so dark to begin with. We don't really need a shadow coat on it. I want to give you a little update. Uh, after I sprayed all of the German gray on it, I thought the color looked a little too light for what the way I wanted to do it. So I actually did go back and spray the entire thing with XF69, the NATO black, gave it a nice base coat of that, and then lightly misted over it with the 63. And we got this look right here. Now, I've also gone ahead and painted the uh, indication poles that we'll glue on later on, but that's after we actually do the uh, the painting. Now I've just sprayed the entire model with uh, Model Master lacquer flat finish. What that's done is that's sealing in the entire paint job that I've done. And now we're going to spray the entire thing with the hairspray. Uh, just one light coat, nothing, nothing crazy on it because we aren't going to beat this up too, too badly. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on right now and then we'll put on the second coat, the desert yellow. I went outside and I sprayed the whole the whole model down with the hairspray. That's why it's kind of got a little bit of a sheen to it. I've let it dry now for about a half an hour. Now we've mixed up some XF59 Desert Yellow paint and we're going to go over the entire model, trying not to get too much on the, uh, the black rubber so we don't have to repaint that later.
Now taking an old soft toothbrush uh, that we've dipped in water, we're going to start slowly scrubbing on some of the high surfaces. And as you can see, the paints, the top paint layer starts to come off, leaving what looks like scratches. And that right there, in my opinion, is I love the way that looks right there. It looks just like it's starting to wear. You can see the gray paint underneath there, but all the little tiny chips of paint going forward. So that's what I'm going to try to duplicate over the rest of the model. Don't want to take too much off. Compressor turn back on. So let's just start going over the rest of the model and see if we can duplicate that the rest of the way. And remember, if you do take too much off, it's not a problem. You can just respray it again. Just an extra step that if you do take too much off. And you'll notice too, when you let the water sit on it for a while, it goes right through the paint. So it's a little bit easier to do. So then when it does that, you gotta be very careful not to take too much off. I went over the entire model with the toothbrush, scrubbing off a lot of the paint. Uh, one thing I'll point out to this, this kit is very, very, very fragile. Because I ended up, while scrubbing all that stuff, I broke off two of the wheels, broke off part of the other piece over here. So the final portions of it, I ended up just dry brushing with a little NATO black to finish it off. I put the, uh, the poles in here, the red and white poles. And now what we're going to do is spray the entire model with XF57 buff and we're just going to give it a dust coat on it just something light just to make it look like it's been out in the desert so let's go ahead and do that I got the uh, last coat of dust on here and I'm liking the way the kit's looking. Uh, one thing I will point out to you is that there is a lot of little parts on this kit. Uh, tiny, tiny parts in fact. And some of the kit is very, very fragile. So when I went to do the hairspray technique on this, I did break off quite a few pieces that I had to glue back on. So it's probably better that you would do some dry brushing on this rather than doing the hairspray on it so you didn't break as many pieces. Thank you for watching the video and stay tuned because part two of the video, building the eight ton half track for towing it, will be out fairly soon. Thank you.